Hey guys, in this video we will look at how we can create these interesting shapes inside Adobe Illustrator. And interestingly, these patterns are created out of very basic shapes. Let's begin. Okay, in this one, let's start with the circle. Select the circle. Give it a stroke let's give 60 point probably yeah then go ahead and click the stroke settings keep the cap and the corner as a rounded one and click the dotted line now it starts create the dotted line and give the profile as a triangle profile okay now it creates this effect now select this go to effect distort and transform transform now this is where we will start to play with the value scale is basically scaling the horizontal and vertical so it means we are every time we apply this transformation effect so it's going to scale 90 percent and the rotation angle and number of copies see it started creating this so now if you start to change the rotation angle value and if you start to create number of copies it starts to give you a different effect based on the settings we are giving So it's taking one rotation basically it is taking a one rotation of the shape with the center point here and then applying those uh, settings value basically a scaling value and then copying it now if you click random it creates a random point but it's okay let's stick to this okay go ahead and play with it Now I have already created a background for this, so let me turn it on. Now if you still want to edit this uh, transformation effect, just go to Window, Appearance, and then you select the transform, and you can start to play with the value until you are happy with it. You see here, you change the rotation angle. So just by changing the rotation angle, it is creating a very mesmerizing patterns. By the way, if you want these gradient patterns, I will leave a link in the description. This is very nice. Okay. In this one, let's try something different. Let's start with the circle, okay, and give it a stroke. Let's move the circle and let's try to rotate the circle. Give it a stroke, okay. Now select the circle, keep this as a center point, and then it will start to rotate from that as a center point and then make it a copy, give it 60 degree, make it a copy and rotate. Command D will repeat the process. So now select all of them, group it. Now go to effect, distort and transform, transform effect. Now play with the scale value. Do it like this, this effect is good. Okay, change the rotation angle. copies also I think this number is okay maybe let's reduce it to 5 okay 15 degrees say okay interconnected inter uh, it started creating this interconnected effect now let's go ahead and create a background now select the pattern and go to object expand up appearance and expand one more time 
now select and give it a stroke outer uh, outer stroke and let's give it a two point so you see here it started it looks like it started each circle is one below other it started giving this nice effect now with this one let's go ahead and create circle okay select the circle give it a stroke maybe make the stroke again as 60 points probably yeah then change the stroke settings make it as a dotted line okay change the cap and the corner as a rounded one and change the profile to whatever the profile let's say this profile now go to effect restore and transform transform now again let's say 90 degree 90 percent for the vertical and horizontal scaling and let's say 30 degree for a rotation angle and let's say 10 copies okay so it started creating that now if you if you click random it started randomizing the entire rotation and the scaling value so if you start to increase the copies number of copies so you start to create this nice pattern play with it so if you start to increase the angle and if you start to play with the scaling see it is creating this very continuous loop effect keep playing and let's go ahead and uh, apply a background okay wow this is nice okay if you further want to edit this select the shape go to appearance give it a transform effect now you try to change the anchor point here it start to change the shape top left you know middle so each time you only change the anchor point it is giving you a different transformation effect based on these settings okay so let's stick to the center point for this effect which is quite good and play with the number of copies and even if you try to shift the horizontal and vertical position meaning x and y value it is again creating some other effects as well okay go ahead and play with it Okay, in this one, again, we will start with the circle. Select the circle. Give it a stroke. Let it be 80. Select the stroke. Then change the stroke settings. Let's leave it like this and change the profile. Okay, as a triangular profile. Now this time let's not do the dotted line, let's leave it like this. Go to the distort and transform and transform effect. Now play with the scale value 90% and number of copies, just preview it. And if you start to give an angle, see, beautiful. You can actually create these kind of shapes and create nice backgrounds for your graphical works okay, play with it play with the angle play with number of copies let's keep a background wow this is nice okay in this one let's start with the square okay let's split the four lines separately okay take this 
this two lines separately and those two separately and give it a stroke and these two same stroke and different profiles as well yeah so select them group them go to effect distort and transform transform now let's this time let's try to play with the random value click the random give the scale number of copies and an angle so now if you start to give this angle wow see this effect it creates a very nice effect so if you start to play with the anchor points again you see here it looks very nice these are very interesting patterns just with square and stroke simple okay play with it this is also nice let's stick to this say okay okay let's give it a background okay let's try to change the pattern select the pattern go to appearance transform change the anchor point again preview and probably change the rotation angle that's it okay in this one let's start with the circle again give it a stroke make it 60 or 80 give it a stroke setting rounded cap corner and this profile now what we will do we will just try to select effect distort and transform transform now let's try to play with anchor points here so now this this is the center point uh, the anchor point is center now so change the scale give it an angle give it number of copies and preview now this is the anchor at the center point so the center is the anchor point is at the center now now if you try to switch the anchor points see it started creating very nice effect and if you start to play with the uh, number of copies and angle as well this is very nice now go ahead and create a background and put it here and select the pattern actually and you can actually apply a transparency if you don't find it window transparency and then you can go ahead and say change the opacity or maybe let's say overlay see it's beautiful this is a nice background effect if you want to edit this just go ahead and uh, appearance transform effect start to play with the value okay increase the scaling and maybe give it a different rotation angle so it is basically taking these settings and taking the left center as an anchor point and start to play with it very nice okay that's it for now i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching